GETTY A view of Toronto's skyline it is busy and bustling but rarely feels suffocating. There is a warmth and cheeriness that makes it impossible to be downbeat. And that was more than apparent at the recent Invictus Games, which the city hosted to great acclaim. The Games, created by Prince Harry for wounded, injured or sick servicemen and women, some more than 500 men and women compete in 12 sporting events including wheelchair tennis, golf and cycling. The likes of former U.S. President Barack Obama, U.S. First Lady Melania Trump and Harry's girlfriend Meghan Markle were all present to watch the action across a memorable week. 2017 marks the 150th year of Canadian Confederation and Toronto is a city bursting with history, multiculturalism and eclecticism. If you happen to find yourself visiting Toronto, here's a guide to some of the top attractions and things to do. Express Toronto's CN Tower Arguably Toronto's most populous attraction not just for tourists but also locals who want to view their stunning city from great heights. The 1,815-feet tower is like a beacon, situated in the heart of the city. When you look skywards it is impossible to miss and your eyes are immediately drawn to it. However, the biggest thrill comes from experiencing the edge walk. Capture this amazing city by walking hands-free on 5 feet wide ledge, 356 meters above the ground. Graffiti tour with Toronto being such a diverse city, it's no surprise that its vibrant culture is explored through artistic means and on Queen Street West, graffiti is a major part of that. Experience the expansive, constantly evolving graffiti alley for the best street art the city can offer. Express the Pink Panther on Graffiti Alley Express more artwork on Graffiti Alley If you're looking to get a feel of the multicultural vibe within Toronto, look no further than the Distillery District, Kensington Market St. Lawrence Market. Based in the historic Old Town, the distillery features Canada's largest complex of Victorian-era architecture. It's also home to bakeries, craft breweries, contemporary art, outdoor concerts and festivals. And not too far away is St. Lawrence which dates back to 1892, includes over 100 food producers and was once voted the best market in the world by National Geographic. In West Side Toronto, you have Chinatown and Little Italy but also Kensington Market which has become the go-to place for the young and trendy with its vintage clothing, organic food and various demographics. Get East. Lawrence Market in Toronto Canada's largest museum is impossible to miss in Midtown Toronto with its stunning exterior carved like a crystal. Visit for its world-class exhibits and workshops on world cultures and natural history. And discover dinosaurs, ancient Egypt, Canada's first peoples, gem, minerals and plenty of child-friendly attractions. GETTY A view from outside the Royal Ontario Museum Sport is a major part of life in Canada and especially in Toronto, where the Blue Jays, the Toronto Maple Leafs and Toronto Raptors all play within short proximity. Despite being a Canadian-based baseball team, the Blue Jays compete in Major League Baseball and the area goes blue as fans descend on the Rogers Centre for 81 home games between April and September. The atmosphere is completely different to a football match with its family-friendly feel and entertainment to keep the fans excited. Express the Toronto Blue Jays play at the 49,000-seater Rogers Centre if you are planning to watch the Blue Jays and looking for somewhere to eat and drink beforehand, the Real Sports Bar Grill is the only place to go. It is a sports fan dream location, just minutes away from the Air Canada Centre and the Rogers Centre. Grab a table and enjoy your meal in front of a 39-foot HD big screen and 199 HD TVs. Pick from over 50 beer selections on more than 126 draft taps. Sample Real Sports 10 award-winning wing flavors including their suicide wings which are guaranteed to leave you sweating and grasping for some milk. Express Real Sports 39-foot HD big screen hockey legend Wayne Gretzky is an icon in Canada. So it makes sense that he would have his own bar in the downtown sports and entertainment district full of his personal memorabilia. With a rooftop patio, indulge in traditional Canadian poutine in a casual setting, ideal for lunch or dinner. The menu includes wood oven baked pizzas, grilled steaks, pasta, chicken wings and ribs along with plenty of healthy options. Canadian Affair offers a three-night stay in Toronto from £399 per person including direct return flights with Air Transat into Pearson International Airport from London Gatwick plus three nights accommodation in a centrally located four-star hotel. To book please visit www.canadianaffair.com Tourism Toronto website http www.cedarontonow.com